help us understand a little bit more about what an employer's legal responsibility is in terms of verifying immigration status? Well, absolutely. Well, first of all, in the case of uh, my clients, they were recruited to come work for the golf club and management there knew who they were hiring. But assuming they didn't know, there is a document called the I-9. Uh, this document obviously is prepared by the employee, but if they were to follow E-Verify, they would probably understand that these women were not authorized to work legally in the United States. That was not the case here though, because in this case, the women were brought on to work knowing that they did not have legal status in the United States. We're talking about five people here, and it's my understanding, based on what my clients have said, they have friends who also work there. We're talking about a very high number of employees at the golf club who were not documented, who were also brought in to work there, who may share similar stories. A very large number of people who have worked there in the past, and we believe at this time there are about 12 or 13 people who are still working there. We haven't heard from them, and that's something that we are also concerned because when the New York Times piece was published, my clients were receiving phone calls from friends. In fact, they were even receiving pictures from friends inside of the golf club saying, we're here, we're working. We haven't heard from them since, and we are very concerned with their safety, and that is why we ask that either Department of Homeland Security or the Attorney General's Office really look in to see what was going on here. 